welcome you all for a critical analysis of cultural identity and diaspora written by stuart hall stuart hall stuart hall was a jamaican born british marxist sociologist cultural theorist and political activist jamaica is an island country situated in the caribbean sea Jamaica was a British colony until it became independent in 1962. Hall quickly discovered that he was living in two worlds simultaneously as a black native of the Caribbean and on the other in the imaginative world of the colonizers. Hall's early experience as a colonial subject views every aspect of Hall's intellectual life. In the 1950, Hall was a founder of the influential journal New Left Review and he was the first editor in chief of this merged publication It is to be noted that Hall along with Richard Hoggart Raymond Williams are considered as the founding fathers of cultural studies In 1964 Hall accepted the invitation of Richard Hoggart to join in the Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies at Birmingham University in United Kingdom Hall expands the scope of cultural studies and incorporates new ideas derived from the work of French theorists such as Michel Foucault Hall also became one of the main proponents of reception theory and developed the theory of encoding and decoding Hall was also involved in the black arts movement Hall was aware of his long lost ancestry He suffered from a dilemma with his hybrid identity and searched for the history of diaspora, slavery, suffering, reconstruction and cultural hybridization. Cultural Identity and Diaspora This is a seminal essay of Hall, published in the year 1996. In this essay, Hall presents two different definitions of cultural identity. The first is an essentialist or stable identity. The first definition emphasizes the similarities among us to a group of people. But according to Stuart Hall, this first definition cannot help to understand the trauma of colonization. The second definition depends on similarities and differences as perceived in an imagined cultural group. Hall asserts that this definition is useful for understanding the trauma of colonization and he views this definition as superior. Thus, Hall's understanding of how categories of class, race and gender can join to produce discursive or moving cultural identities continues to allow us to think the world differently. Stuart Hall begins his essay with a discussion on the emerging new cinema in the Caribbean known as the third cinema it is considered as the visual representation of the afro caribbean in the post colonial context that is in the cinema or visual medium blacks are represented as the new post colonial subjects hall rejects the idea of this representation and questions the identity of this post colonial context for hall Identity is not a finished product. Instead, it is production which is never complete and is always in process. Let me expand the two definitions of cultural identity. Firstly, identity affiliated by race or ethnicity is considered as stable or not changing one. This identity reflects the common historical experiences and common cultural codes. This is known as the oneness of cultural identity despite the changes of our actual history. Therefore for Hall, blacks living in the diaspora or the scattered population need to unearth their African past to discover their true cultural identity. So from the perspective of the Caribbeans, this would be the Caribbeanness of the black experience and this would be the true identity of the marginalized people. This definition also inspires feminist, anti-colonial and anti-racist art. Stuart Hall explores a second form of cultural identity that exists among the Caribbean. 
this identity is understood as unstable metamorphic and even contradictory this identity undergoes constant transformation transcending time and space hall states that if someone wants to understand the trauma of immigrants in post colonial context then this definition is more appropriate hall further explains that it is not necessary to know who we are or from where we have come in fact what we might become is more important so without understanding this new identity one cannot speak of caribbean identity it is to be noted that there are ruptures and discontinuities that form the caribbean's uniqueness based on this second understanding of identity as an unstable hall discusses caribbean cultural identity as one of heterogeneous composites it is this second definition of identity that offers a proper understanding of the traumatic character of the colonial experience of the caribbean people and it also shows mixture of african diaspora this view of cultural identity was more challenging than the previous due to its deep differences stuart hall next describes caribbean identity in terms of three distinct presences they are the african the european and the american taking the terms from the founders of negritude movement that is amy sesaya and leo patsenka hall describes the three presences as presence africaine presence americaine and presence europeane presence africaine is the unspeakable presence in caribbean culture According to Hall the African presence though repressed by slavery and colonialism is in fact hiding in every aspect of Caribbean society culture language religion the arts and the music Next Hall describes the European presence in Caribbean cultural identity as the legacy of colonialism racism and power Hall argues that Caribbean and diasporic people must acknowledge how the European presence has become an inextricable or never changing part of their own identities. Lastly, Hall describes the American presence as the territory or one area where people and cultures from all around the world collide. Difference and difference Hall acknowledges the deep-rooted difference within the diaspora. The difference was created by the destructive nature of the transatlantic slave trade or Euro-American slave trade and the resulting generations of slavery. Hall describes this difference is what constitutes what we really are or the true nature of the diaspora. This identity provides a clear uniqueness and internal distinctness so he calls this as difference the use of the a in the word unsettles us from our initial and was originally introduced by Zack Derrida for hall this modification of the word difference conveys the nuances of the diaspora As a cultural theorist, Stuart Hall felt the necessity to make the world recognize the mixed racial and cultural identity of his nation. According to Hall, black people living in diaspora are constantly reinventing themselves. Their identities mix, hybridize and cryolize from Africa, Europe and the rest of the world in their everyday lives and cultural practices. There is no one fit cultural identity. but there are a multiplicity of different cultural identities that share both similarities and differences and all of which should be respected there is no doubt diasporic cultural identity in the caribbean and throughout the world is a mixture of all these different presences identities do not have universality so they can shift or change themselves at whatever time and place Thus, Hall's ideas of identity is totally suitable for exploring immigrants' trauma in a post-colonial society. Thank you.